Hello guys, I just thought I will start this video from the top of the table mountain here in Cape Town, South Africa, where I am right now. I don't know if you can see how beautiful is it around and I am ready to watch the sunset in some minutes. Yeah, I was playing in um, Pretoria and I just came here for a few days and so far it's been the most interesting and vibrant trip I've ever had in my life, seriously. It's just absolutely amazing here in South Africa and if you don't mind I will just put some videos for the next like 10-15 minutes. Um, yeah, if you're interested to see a little bit of South Africa and what I've seen so far. And after that I will talk a little bit about my future plans for the beginning of the year.
Hi everyone, so I'm already back home to Germany and I just thought I will make like a kind of short, relaxed talk with you guys about my future plans for this upcoming year and I will probably talk a little bit about my studies and about my future concerts this year. So, you know, just to catch up a little bit, I've never done such a talk, but I personally enjoy watching like more personal and relaxed talks with my favorite youtubers and I thought maybe you will enjoy it as well. So what I actually wanted to talk to you guys is about my uh, studies. I guess I actually never talk about like where I'm studying and what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm right now about to finish my um, Master of Music, obviously. Uh, in solo piano in the University of Cologne, in the Music University, they call it um, Hochschule für Musik und Tanz in German. So I hope to finish my master there in October. Uh, when I say I hope, I mean that basically I don't know how it's in your countries, in your universities, guys, but for example when I studied in Russia everything was very well organized and like fixed and very strict you know so for example we all started like a group of pianists um, at the same time and we had to finish also at the same time like basically everybody played his exam on the same day but here in Germany where I studied the moment it's um, quite different because everybody decides for himself when he wants to finish, when he wants to play his exam, which I think is a very good thing. But, but the problem is that people who organize the studying process and the exams, they get sometimes very confused because um, everybody wants to play on a different day and I mean, I hope it will be fine, like I hope I will pass all of my exams successfully but uh, we will see how it goes and if I get a good day for me because I also have many other things um, to do and different obligations and different concerts so I just hope that nothing will like you know be on the same day which can obviously happen but the good thing that I can always just postpone um, the exams and just finish my studies a little bit later which um, I just hope it won't happen but you never know so the thing is I hope to finish my master in October and after that I actually want to continue my studies and at the moment I have this idea in my head which is probably like kind of really crazy but I'm thinking about doing three different studies at the same time like from um, October or around October. I don't know if it will work. Also, I don't know if I will be accepted in those universities that I will apply for, but if it works, that would be like the best thing ever. But we'll see. Even if like from three I will be accepted to two universities, um, it still would be amazing. And yeah, so I have to do really a lot for that, to do a lot of applications. And I also have like some kind of choices between universities and maybe even between countries. We will see. I'm not sure about that yet. But yeah, the thing is that even if I'm accepted to two or even to one studying from what I have in my head, it still will be really cool and I still would be very happy. But if I'm accepted to all of them, it would even be better. Obviously, if I decide to do so many things at the same time, it's going to be a very difficult time for me, but um, it just feels right at the moment and I would love to do that. So we will see. I cannot tell you yet what exactly I want to do, 
of course everything is connected with music and piano but uh, it's kind of different things what I would like to do like what I would like to study as uh, next but we will see about that so of course guys I will tell you as soon as possible when it when I know already the results of the entrance exams and yeah when I basically you know also decide for myself what I want to take if I have a choice so this is what I was planning about my studies, and um, I would also like to announce some upcoming concerts that I have in the next month and I actually have quite a lot of nice concerts luckily and of course guys if you are like you know just around um, always feel free to come to any of those concerts I will be super happy to see you I know that many of my subscribers are actually from the US but according to YouTube information I actually have a lot of viewers from Germany as well and most of my concerts are gonna be in Germany though one is in Russia and one is in Switzerland so yeah anyways just please feel free to come one of those concerts and uh, I don't know when this video is gonna be out but at the moment next week on the 11th of February I'm playing a super fun concert uh, with an ensemble from my music university in Cologne and we play a um, um, Carnival des Animaux by Camille Saint-Saëns. This is gonna be super fun. I'm very much looking forward to this concert. I have played this piece already in the past but I played it with a symphony orchestra um, in Germany and this time we play with an ensemble which is like an original version of that. The next concert that I'm gonna play will be in Berlin on the 24th of February. Um, as far as I remember actually I've never played in Berlin so it's gonna be my first time in Berlin and I'm especially excited about this concert because this concert is gonna be the first one from like a um, um, series of concerts um, with a very special project of mine. I will play a very unknown and unappreciated pieces by Richard Wagner himself, so his own piano pieces. Obviously you guys um, know some of his operas or maybe you even know like many of his operas and they are of course amazing. I know there are many like lovers and haters of his operas but obviously he was a genius composer. He was a very difficult person though but his music is absolutely genius. I love and appreciate his music and some years ago I had this like idea to play his own piano pieces and like I mean Germany is one of the countries where his music is mostly appreciated and still I've never heard anybody play those pieces and there are some recordings of them but like I've never heard them live and some of the pieces are actually really really good some of them I like more kind of I don't know like experimental things or maybe like something what he composed during his studying years which is still really interesting to know especially if you are into his uh, music but anyways I had this um, idea to perform his pieces and also to talk about them like obviously you guys know I like to talk also about music so I always try to do that during my concerts and it's kind of like half concert half lecture so anyways I will play a concert in Berlin with this program on the 24th of February and right after that on the 29th of February I will play the same program in Bremen also here in Germany. It's also gonna be my first time playing in uh, Bremen. In fact, I've never even been to this city before. And a day before a uh, Bremen concert, I actually hope to do some professional recordings of these pieces, mainly just for you guys. 
or maybe I will put some on Patreon. We will see how I decide to do that. And yeah, so that's it for February. And in March, on the 5th of March, I also play a very exciting concert in Cologne, in the city where I study. This concert will be in Bichstein Central. So I will play on a Bichstein piano. I've never played on a Bichstein piano, like during the concert. I guess I practiced on their pianos in the past. I don't quite remember that, but um, yeah, so it will be super interesting and I guess I will definitely have to do a vlog for you and like to talk a little bit maybe about Bichstein pianos. But yeah, this is very exciting as well. And then basically like two days after on the 7th of March, I will play again my Wagner's program in München. I played in München um, in the past. It was actually the first competition that I attended in Germany, I guess, and I also won it. So München is like a special city for me and it's also a very beautiful city. So yeah, and then I have more like a personal trip to Hong Kong that I unfortunately don't know yet if it's gonna happen um, because you guys also know how the things are going on these days and um, yeah, but I hope that it will happen, but I won't play in Hong Kong. I think I will have to practice there during this trip, but it's more like a personal trip of mine. And I'm also very excited for that and I just hope, you know, like for the best and that everything is gonna happen because I already have tickets. So in April, what do I have in April? Um, okay, I have this like very special and also super exciting concert in Russia, in the city of Sochi. It's um, probably these days one of the most famous cities in Russia because they had Olympic Games there some years ago and it's actually it's a very beautiful city in the south of Russia um, at the sea and I've been there when I was like three and four so two times obviously I don't remember anything but yeah many people told me that it's a very beautiful city and I'm gonna play there with an orchestra I will play the first Tchaikovsky Concerto, which is like just mind-blowing to play a Tchaikovsky Concerto in Russia and I haven't played in Russia for probably like six years. Maybe I will talk in the future about the reasons why I don't play in Russia and about all the difficulties that we Russian pianists and musicians in general are going through and why we don't perform in Russia so much. But anyways, I'm very thankful for this concert and this concert is actually organized by Yamaha Russia, by like an artistic center from Yamaha. They invited me for this concert and I'm super, super thankful for that, guys. Thank you so much. It's like the artistic uh, center team in Moscow is like a dream team. It's the people you absolutely would love to work because they are just the most supportive um, to young pianists and musicians in general uh, people and I absolutely love them so thank you guys so much and actually um, as we planned in the first part of this concert I will perform a solo program and in the second part I will perform a Tchaikovsky concerto so it's also gonna be one of the most difficult concerts in my life like just physically because to play a solo program in the beginning and a concerto in the end is extremely difficult but I'm still very excited for this uh, concert and the week after on the 19th of April I'm going to perform in um, a city called Salzwedel it's also gonna be my first time there it's a project from a um, pianist and I would say educator. Her name is Elisabeth Elina. She is also from Russia and she invited me to play for her project. So the thing is that it's a very special concert because um, what she is doing basically is like interviewing the performers during the concert. So we have like 
talks about different things about music or maybe like our personal approach to music and uh, just very different topics and we discuss it like in the breaks between the pieces which I I absolutely loved uh, that concept and yeah I'm very excited for that concert as well and the last concert that um, I can announce for now is in June it will be in Switzerland in Luzern in actually Richard Wagner's museum where I will also play my Wagner's program. It will be on the 27th of June. So for now it's um, everything that I planned so far in the next um, months uh, with concerts. So it was just some kind of a short talk with you guys and yeah see you in the next videos. I have a lot of exciting and hopefully interesting for you guys videos um, coming soon and see you in the next videos. Bye!